Hey guys, welcome back to DCS World. I'm Spudknocker, as always. And today I thought we'd take a look at Target of Opportunity Mode, or TOO Mode, for the AGM-88 arm here on the DCS FA-18C Hornet. Now I know that WAGS made a really awesome and really concise video showing off all the different parts of Target of Opportunity Mode for the harms on the FA-18C. But it's always good to hear something a second time from someone else. Helps reinforce things, and uh, good to hear things from a, a second voice, like I said. So for this video, I wanted to show off just a very bare bones, kind of quick start guide to get you guys going in the TOO mode of the AGM-88. I also wanted to share this little practice mission uh, that I've created for employing harms here on the NTTR map. There's a few radar emitters, a fan song, a flat face, a dog ear, some hawk radars, and uh, some SA-6 radars um, sp spread across range 74 Charlie and 74 Bravo out here on the edge of Area 51. So just make sure you don't accidentally fly into the box. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring our EW page to our right-hand DDI. We'll go ahead and go into air-to-ground mode, and we'll bring up our harm format page. You'll also notice that I have my SA page down here on the MPCD. We will go ahead and go over this in another video. I unfortunately didn't have time to put together a full video on the SA page just yet, but uh, we will get there for sure. Normally I'm a little bit more ahead of the game, but uh, there are a lot of different changes going on within the uh, testing builds, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't accidentally show off something that wasn't ready to be shown off or um, wasn't uh, ready to go public yet. I, of course, always want to keep my relationship with Eagle Dynamics on good standing, and I never want to accidentally um, release something before it should be. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and turn on towards Waypoint 2 and get started with our attack run. So we'll go ahead and disengage the autopilot and disengage the auto throttle so that we can gain a little speed. And we're flying in an F-18 with the very cool Naval Air Warfare Center Blue Splinter Aggressor Scheme. Like I've said before, it's always very cool to see American jets and paint schemes that are different than just haze gray. We'll go ahead and bring her on around towards range 74 Bravo. wire on out, and hopefully gain a little altitude to help our missiles out a bit as we gain speed. Now when you go to the harm format page, you'll always be automatically brought to SP mode. So if you're interested in learning about SP mode or the history of anti-radiation missiles in uh, US service, go ahead and check out my previous video on the uh, self-protection mode of the AGM-88, uh, linked down in the, in the description below, and should pop up on the screen right up there. So we'll go ahead and bring her into TOO mode, and we're greeted by this page here. And we can see the different threat emitters popping up down here. This is in fact like using a Maverick. We're showing an FOV of the secret head of the missile. So as we come left, the position of those threat emitter emitters will change. Very similar to if you're trying to target some tanks with an AGM-65. So why don't we go ahead and go after the Dog Ear and the SA-6 radar to start off. So we need to bring our TDC, our sensor select switch left, to slave our TDC to our left DDI, denoted by this diamond. And we'll need to use the I key, or the RAID FOV harm sequence key, to change our threat radar that's selected. So we'll select our Dog Ear. And then we'll use the cage uncage button to tell the harm to select this target and go after the dog ear. We'll get this little indication called harm uh, handoff. We'll push up the speed just a little bit, close the range just a little bit more. Bring it left just a little bit to line us up a little bit better. 
and Magnum. We'll go ahead and use the I key to select our SA6. We'll hand off the target with our cage button again. And Magnum 2. So we've got two missiles in the air, so why don't we go ahead and turn cold so that those SA-6 and Hawks don't engage us. So in my playtime with the Wingman Finders, the Grim Reapers and others, including the Alert 5 guys, I've found that the best tactic for employing harms against uh, enemy SAM sites is to speed up, launch your missiles from a high altitude and high speed, and then immediately turn cold to limit your exposure to uh, retaliatory launches from that SAM site. If you do get engaged by a SAM site, usually most of the time your harm will end up hitting that SAM site before the SAM hits you, which is always a good thing. Kaboom. So we can see that dog gear dropped off, as well as the SA-6, meaning that we got two good kills. It also looks like we got a pop-up threat of an SA-8 that popped up, so why don't we go ahead and wheel around and engage the fan song and the SA-8. Do note that armored SAM systems, like the SA-8, do not always get killed by a harm uh, outright, like we just did with that SA-6 uh, site that we just saw explode but we will get a mission effective kill. We'll destroy the radar emitter on top of the vehicle, even though the armored vehicle hull itself is still more or less intact. But as we can see, we can't target different radars and select different radars that are behind us or 90 degrees to our left because, like I said, we are looking at the FOV of the harm itself. So we'll have to wheel around back to waypoint Two and range 74 Bravo to get a good look at these guys. So it looks like we've got the next high priority selected already for us, which looks like the fan song. We were able to break out the flat face and the Sam and the fan song here, even though they are rather close together. So we'll go ahead and push the speed up. Bring it left just a little bit for a better lineup. Looks like we overshot a little bit. It's all right. So we'll go ahead and oh, forgot. We gotta make sure we hit the cage button to hand off the target to the actual missile itself. And now we can magnum. So it looks like that SA8 actually dropped off the air. So we're not able to target him. So why don't we go ahead and go after? Oh, came back up. So let's go ahead and use the I key to select that SA-8. We'll bring it around. SA-8's engaging us. Use the cage on cage to hand it off. And we'll magnum again. And we'll turn cold before the SA-8 can engage us. Popping out some chaff. Looks like we may have notched that radar, or, the, or we may have just dropped off their screen. There goes the missile. One less fan song, and here comes a missile towards the SA-8. Yep, looks like we missed the SA-8. I think we did that in the last harm video as well, we totally whiffed on the SA-8. That's alright though, our wingman is full up with four more magnums so he can go ahead and engage those for us. So hopefully this gave you a quick idea of how to use the harms in the TOO mode or target of opportunity mode. Like I said, we'll, we'll be going more in depth in this as well as we'll go in an in-depth look at the SA page down out here on our MPCD. Um, we just didn't have time now with other projects going on, but uh, hopefully this weekend or early next week we'll get some out for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, fly safe and happy hunting. Thanks a lot, guys.